There's a delay. This ain't me. This is... Alright, this ain't me. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead. Again, uh, my protocols and procedures are fucked up. I had a full pizza last night, which my blood sugar's uh, 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 out of whack. And uh, also, they have tater tots, so they're competing with Burger King, I guess, with their cheesy tots. I mean, let's be for real, <laughs> okay? All right, and then my visual stream's being fucked with, which is fine. Uh, uh, just my peripheral uh, because of the technology. So an easy, it, it, simply, all right, real easy trick. If you're going to put headphones on, you have to listen to your surroundings. You can't be completely an asshole and block it out. If you're going to block something out, do it on your own time. Do it in the privacy. Don't blare it up so loud that it's bleeding out the the headsets. Buy some cheap ones where it's not going to blare out. Don't get some skull crushers and then you can hear it in three three foot radius. That's, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's just saying that you're being an asshole. Um, you're sending off frequencies in that. So speaking of frequencies, what I just did was uh, assume that someone's watching the camera or they can reference the camera at where I'm located at under the awning uh, because delivery's in rear. I love that. So I ordered pizza <laughs> and uh, I wrote delivery in rear <laughs> uh, under the awning uh, in the back. Uh, you know, just trying to be cool about it, but... I know that Domino's, there, there's different options. It would be easier if they went the Jackson route, the street behind us, and then walk that way. But uh, that way they don't have to back up. They can just pull off. I can save them like 30 seconds um, with the driver and, and and not have to have that stress of having to back out of our driveway. So, But uh, on the camera aspect, I'm trying to get, uh, line up the epoch times for those that are working in the mist let's say that and we're going to reference that movie so they're the the aliens of the future mixed with uh uh, uh the chris pratt movie from uh, uh, tomorrow wars i think is what it's called where uh he's trying to save his uh his kid's future from being in a horrible nightmare where he's battling technology are aliens a lie uh, that happened uh, in the Super Bowl, was it? Was it? They were doing soccer, football. I don't know. Bunch of tits over in uh, in Europe keep fucking it up, but they get it. They they've been doing this for a while. So uh, I guess I'm the new guy. That and, and technically I'm only out because the new guy was found by me, and then I'm like, fuck, my shit's old, stank. I mean, it's classically trained, but anyways, uh, so I was having issues with my Wi-Fi, so I was doing signals of, we used to do this in, in school, you would put it below your, uh, below your hip, and if someone looked at it, you got to, you, you get the punch them, all right, so, but that is a loading screen is what I do. So, and I put that in different places, I just signal that it's loading, and I lost sound, and I'm tuned into the world. So, uh, and then I, uh, what I just did, which I sometimes do, is illustrate which Wi-Fi, either by pointing or uh, um, uh, doing, if there's multiple of the same network, like we have a spectrum covers this area. So it's always spectrum something or other, and then a number right behind it. So I'll count out the numbers right after it on my hand. So I'll go boom, and then like one, six, and then I'll have to use a separate hand, which I can't really do. And I got smoker's finger. It's really showing up bad. That's because, and I'll, I'll tell you that one. So a lot of people, if you've ever been in lockup, and it, it bleeds over into the medical facility, but it's jailhouse talk. Uh, and I discussed this in one of my, uh, after the uh, October 10th video, there's like six of them that correlated to each other, but there's one of them I speak about, they pull the filter out. 
and then that's how they smoke it. But the next step is is that things too long, and then you have an occasional person that uh, salivates on it, and it closes, and then you're constantly uh, pinching it with one hand, and your other finger you're trying to tap an opening so you can get whatever out of it. Go ahead and tear that uh, back end after the filter is done, the, the yellow part, in half. And then it's more like a joint. So, and it's a little easier. But again, you've got to work on not uh, getting everything all wet, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, my finger was on top of the mic, so I, I did not, my pinky that was holding my hand. So I'm not sure how it is, but I know AI has been boosting my audio. Um, I think I'm caught up. Last night was weird. I was wanting to party, and I did the best I could with the resources I had, with the understanding that I can't go a zero to 100 um, right now. So I can't go back into the medical industry. I understand that. I need to just... It's not... Time and place. I need to find my people that allow the fun times to happen. So... Um, oh, physically speaking, I'm fine. Um, I want to work out more, but every time, okay, I got to hurry this up. Every time that I work out, uh, I get feedback that I don't want to hear. I just want to be able to do five push ups here and there throughout the day without people saying, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear the shit. I just want to do me, all right? I don't, I don't need your baggage onto my plate. So, cause I know what you're doing is trying to take the conversation back onto yourself. And you're like, you're, you're giving me inspiration. And I'm like, no, that simple word is telling me that you want me to help you. So do it yourself, figure your body out. Oh, I wonder if I got my phone today. God, I've been without my smartphone and I miss my smart phone. Uh, immensely so I like to hug it and sleep with it at night I put my arm around it as it talks dirty to me if you know what I'm saying you know the stuff that Google tracks <laughs> those voices in your head you know I hate that fucking question it's a horribly written question do you hear or see things that others do not. Yes, uh, my perspective, my per perception is different than yours, okay? I have a lifetime of that. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, all right? You asked me a very generalized question. So uh, on the last video, uh, they, they suggested you ask why. Why is a horrible question. Because then you get this motherfucker... There's like uh, going to the doctor. Uh, I did a, uh, there's a, God, what is it? Burt something maybe? Or the, yeah, I think it is. Anyways, there's two comedians I talk about in one of my videos. One of them is talking about uh, the worst doctor ever. Amazing. All right, I'm going to kill this battery. I'm going to have to stop this. All right, and the other one was, uh, you don't, yeah, no, no. You don't go to the doctor and say, well, my knee's hurting. And they're like, what happened? Or what, what's wrong with you? Well, I walked into an ottoman. You can use that as a coffee table, blah, 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 blah. And he goes through this joke and he's like, the doctor doesn't want to hear that. Doctor wants to hear this hurts. Fix it. So, yeah. So you get those stupid people when you ask why. You've got to have a conversation before that. There's more to negotiation than just why those basic questions okay you've got to articulate it to cater to that individual personality and if you're not reading their body language well you lost so all right god bless and i'm going to tap out i'm going to go put this on the charger and